Abu Al Hasan Ali ibn Sal Robban At Tabari, son of Sal Robban At Tabari, is a notable 9th century Muslim physician, psychologist, and one of the first scholars who studied the comparative history of religions. He also produced one of the first encyclopedic works on medicine. He lived more than 70 years and met with important figures such as Muslim caliphs, governors, and eminent scholars. He is one of the most controversial of scholars due to his family's religious background and the books he composed on religious matter. In this study, the works of Atabari will be analyzed in the light of new findings about his life and works. Ali bin Sal Roban Atabari was born into an intellectual Syriac Christian family in Marwa in the region of Khurasan, near present-day Tehran. We do not know the dates of his birth and death. The dates given for his birth and death in some modern studies are also erroneous. According to Brokerman, for example, he was born in 192, and according to Meyerhoff in 193, in a statement given in his Firdaus al-Hikmah, it was understood that he was born earlier. His father, Sar Roban Atabari, was a highly placed state official. He was an educated and respected member of the Christian Syriac community. Since the title Robban was given to the Jewish religious leaders, most historians thought that this family was Jewish in origin. On the other hand, Ali bin Robban very clearly described himself as a Christian in his book Kitab ad-Din wa Dawla. In his other book, Arad ala an nasara he says that he lived as a Christian until the age of 70 when converted to Islam. Ali bin Sal Robban received his preliminary education in medical and natural science, calligraphy, mathematics, philosophy, religion, and literature from his father, Sal. In addition to Arabic, Persian, and Syria, he had also mastered the Hebrew and Greek language to a high degree of proficiency. Life history of Abu al Hassan Ali ibn Sa'al Tabari when he ten years old, he was taken to Tabaristan and spent his early years in there. In 813, he moved to Iraq in when he was 30 years old after completing his education. And then, when Mazia bin Khan was appointed as the governor of Tabaristan, he returned to Tabaristan and entered a Mazia service as a scribe in 825. After that, he returned to Ravi and to his own job as a physician. In 833 until 842, he was summoned by the Abbas Khalil al Mu'tasim to Baghdad to serve at the court. In 842 until 847, he moved again to Samara during the reign of Khalil al Wati after the Caliph's death. After that, he returned to Baghdad and continued in court service again as a private physician and court under the new Caliph al Mutawakil in 847 until 861. Abu al Hassan Ali, he converted to Islam around 849 850 and was given a title as Maula Amir al Mu'minin by the Caliph. The date of Al Tabari is not said. However, as he converted to Islam when he was 17 years old during the reign of Khal al Mutawakil and he composed few books after that time, it can be deduced that he passed away after 864 in Edinburgh that of Samara. Next, the contributions of Ali ibn Zahra by Atabari. Atabari was promoted to the position of physician in ordinary and also became the Caliph's counselor and trusted company Nadim. In appreciation, Atabari dedicated his best and largest medical compendium, Firdaus al Hikmah, also known as Paradise of Wisdom, to his patron Al Mutawakil. In Firdaus, Atabari compiled, extracted, and digested information on all aspects of medicine from Greek, Syria, and Indian medical compendiums. He contributed immensely to how patients should be properly treated. Unlike early physician, Ali ibn Rabba Tabari emphasized strong ties between psychology and medicine and the need for psychotherapy and counseling in the therapeutic treatment of patients. Tabari dimension for virtues that all physicians had to possess in order to be successful and esteemed, which are Arif, leniency and kindness, Rahmah, mercy and compassion, Kona'ah, contentedness and gratification, and Anfa, chastity with simplicity. Another noteworthy literary contribution was his book, Adi wa Tawla, also known as Religion and the State. It represents a defense as well as an exposition of the religion of Islam, the Holy Quran, and the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Names of manuscript and published materials, books that are extant today, 
Firdaus Al-Hikmah which is a system of medicine Kitab Al-Rod Ala Al-Nasara Al-Tabari only aim for writing was to gain Allah consent and to warn the Christians Kitab Al-Din wa Al-Daulah Al-Tabari compass this treatise after he converted to Islam and to authenticate and testify that Islam is the true religion Hifz Al-Siha the proper care of health Kitab Al-Lulu'a treatise on medicine Books that are not extant today Tufat Al-Muluk the King's present Kitab about a word on the proper use of food, drink and medicines Kitab Al-Ruqa Book of Magic Kitab Fi Al-Hijamah Treatise on Cupping and Kitab Fi Taltib Al-Ardiyah Treatise on the Preparation of Food Squad by Al-Tabari On the Quran, he said, When I was a Christian, I used to say as did an uncle of mine who was one of the learned and eloquent men that eloquence is not one of the signs of prophethood because it is common to all the peoples. But when I discarded blind imitation and customs and gave up adhering to mere habit and training and reflected upon the meanings of the Quran, I came to know that what the followers of the Quran claimed for it was true. The fact is that I have not found any book, be it by an Arab or Persian, an Indian or a Greek right from the beginning of the world up to now, which contains at the same time praises of God, belief in the prophets and apostles, exhortation to good everlasting deeds, command to do good and prohibition against doing evil, inspiration to the desire of paradise and to avoidance of hellfire as this Quran does. So when a person brings to us such book of qualities which inspires such reverence and sweetness in the hearts and which has achieved such an everlasting success and he is at the same time an illiterate person who did never learn the art of writing or rhetoric that who is without any doubt one of the signs of his prophethood.